Hi everybody, my name is Chris Ward and I'm one of the product managers for the control product business and in this worked example um, I wanted to demonstrate how to parameterize the pump cleaning function um, so it is really quick and easy to use and it's a great feature to have um, and it's specifically for the 3RW55 soft starter um, so it's, it's, it's a maintenance function which is integrated into the soft starter um, and you can drive off the outputs which are integrated into the soft starter a reversing pair of contacts and you can cycle the um, unit to into forward and reverse which would Im unblock a pump um, say in a sewage works factory um, so this function is specifically designed for water treatment works and uh, it is a great feature to have because it dramatically reduces the amount of downtime if you're regularly using this maintenance function. So how does it work? So if we go into the parameters and then from parameters if we go into parameter set one, go into condition monitoring and drop that pump cleaning function down as you can see at the moment it's deactivated. So how do we gain access to it? Well all we have to do is go into the pump cleaning mode function and click on manual mode. So once you've done that, then this function will then be active. You can select a time setting range here from one to 30 seconds. So we might want it to cycle for 20 seconds. And then from here, you can decide how many times that device enters a forward and reverse sequence. So how many times do we want it to enter forward and reverse it can range from one to 10. So we'll have that as six. And then you can decide on how, um, which parameter set you want the pump cleaning function to um, operate in. So you can choose operating parameters, which means it'll, it'll configure itself in parameter set one. You can also choose parameter set two if you want the pump cleaning to start in parameter set two or, or parameter set three. Um, but for, for normal circumstances, you just leave that as being operating parameters. And once you've done that, then you'd need an initiation mode. Um, so one of the one of the favorite ways of doing it is by accessing that through the local HMI. So if you go into HMI commands, what you can do is you can edit the favorite keys. And at the moment, it's got F1 and F2, which are already input as being switching from local and remote and reset. But you can change F3 or one of the other keys to the pump cleaning mode. So if you pressed F3 on the HMI, it will then start the pump cleaning function. Another way of accessing the pump start or pump cleaning feature would be through the inputs. So on the soft starter, you have four inputs which are built into the unit. Um, you can switch one of those inputs and have it as being the pump cleaning function. So if you initiated input two on the on the soft starter, it would then enter the pump cleaning mode. Another way would be to go over the network. So if you had the soft starter um, being controlled over um, an automation network via Profinet, say, you could access um, one of the memory inputs um, called Pump Clean, and you could trigger a Pump Clean that way also. Um, so that basically shows you how to uh, parameterize the Pump Cleaning function. Then what you can do now is you can go into the um, Soft Starter and download that into the PC. So to do that, you'd need your PC, you'd need the soft starter, you need to lift the, the black plastic flap off the HMI and dock into the HMI station. So you do that with an RJ45 ethernet cord. And once you've done that, you can then test out the sequence. So I hope you found this video useful um, and stay tuned please for my next video which which is coming shortly thank you